Good day everyone, welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners, and how to make our pets happier. Join us, today we will talk about mixed breed dogs. What is a breed? A certain dog, with certain genetic, mental and physical characteristics, deeply rooted in the genes of dogs, which man created to serve a specific purpose to make his life easier or simply create a suitable company for himself. Over many decades, through intensive breeding and crossbreeding, he has created many of today's races that we know and love. Man has been crossbreeding dogs since the very beginning of mankind. From the time when the first wolf approached a man in search of food attracted by the smell of meat, the two species have been living in symbiosis and the need for mutual cooperation. Since the first dog was created the friendship between man and dog lasts to this day, and it seems to be stronger now than ever. Today it is almost impossible to imagine a house or family without at least one or more dogs. Yes, there are many breeds of dogs, many ideal and irreplaceable for the purpose they serve, but all of them were added by some crossbreeding, and none of them was obtained from one litter. Many generations of mixed breeds had to pass in order to get a perfect individual. All dogs were called mixed breeds at some point, until they were brought to perfection and recognized by the World Kennel Club. And there are many mixed breeds in this world, many of them unwanted, abandoned, rejected, kept in inhumane conditions, all because they are not a pure race, and do not cost hundreds of dollars. And yet they are eager to serve man, full of love and loyalty, just as their purebred race cousins. In some countries there was a saying the first puppies to be thrown in the water and was unfortunately a brutal practice. This of course never applied for the puppies with pedigree that were carefully bred and selected. Does that really mean that mixed breeds don't deserve our love and attention? Are they really less valuable just because they are unsuitable according to someone's invented criteria? Of course not, mixed breeds are just as perfect living beings as those with a pedigree and good grades at the show. If you've decided on such a friend in your life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Whether you met that friend by chance on the street, or in a cardboard box next to a garbage can in winter rain, or in a shelter for abandoned animals, in their eyes you can see everything, a little bit of some dog breeds, and a great soul full of love and gratitude for giving them a chance at a life worthy of every dog. Equally intelligent, cheerful and happy, mixed breeds may have some better genetic traits, namely because in most cases they were obtained by crossing different races and preserved good genes, which in many purebreds long-term crossbreeding led to different genetic disorders, to the point that a dog can have serious physiological problems which prevent it from normal and functional life. That does not mean that mixed breeds are 100% healthy, and we cannot expect them to never be sick, but they are generally healthier and less prone to certain types of race-specific diseases. But that again largely depends on living conditions, care, and concern. True, with mixed breeds you don't really know what you're getting, and exactly which package you subscribe to, but there's really a lot of beauty in that. At one point in your dog you can recognize the hunting characteristics of a hunting dog, or a terrier, or the characteristics of a pug and a poodle, with a huge desire to sit on your lap, regardless of its 40 pounds weight. And every specimen of your breed can be an exception. You can have a timid German Shepherd, not eager fighting American Stafford, a Rottweiler who is not a guard dog, but a great pet. Every dog is a story and an individual for himself just like people. Love and training largely depends on what kind of a dog we will get at the end of the day. Mixed breed, as I already mentioned, usually costs nothing and is worth a lot. It would be ideal for you to fit your dog perfectly into your lifestyle, its dimensions and characteristics, or at least adapt and harmonize with one another, which I believe with his dogs is unusually easy. Sometimes you will get very intelligent dog who will bury bones in alphabetical order in the backyard, and sometimes you won't. You can't expect your dog to solve mathematical equations, some will need more training than the others. When buying food you don't have to worry about overpaying for it. You don't even have to be specific about it. Example. You can buy food for the dog breed that mostly resembles your mixed breed dog, it should be the high quality and adapted to their age and needs, or you can decide for natural version. This does not mean that the general costs for mixed breeds are lower, but they are not so specific in their needs. You still have to take care of their health, food, needs and hygiene. Bathing in most cases you can do yourself in the comfort of your own home with quality shampoos, the hair does not require certain hairstyles that only trained experts can make. 
Think about sterilizing your pets. Keep in mind that what you do should be good for the world as well as yourself. You don't want 10 or 15 or more puppies a year that you can't find a home for or sell because they are mixed breeds and much less demanded for. Owners of both male and female dogs should keep this fact in mind. In your mixed breed dog you will find a dog with a big heart. Many owners will confirm that there are no better dogs than them. If you want a friend with not specific qualities and characteristics which you will not exhibit and sell and you need someone to follow you through life and love you, then a mixed breed is the ideal choice for you. You can buy and carefully choose your four-legged friend and pet, but you can also save someone's life and make the world a little happier and get lots of unconditional love. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets, and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.